guys, it's Rocky here. Welcome to Game of the Cosplay. Today we have Skullgirls, something I have been logging into for quite some time, but don't cover enough. Today we're going to do a full premiere relic pack opening as I'm getting back into this game. I absolutely love playing this game. It's giving me that little like uh, Mortal Kombat mobile vibe, but with actually com combination more, more towards Marvel's Concepts of Champions. But since this is more of an animated style, I thought it'd be great on Game with Cosplay. So if you guys enjoyed Dragon Ball Legends specifically, content, that's uploaded every day as best as I possibly can at 5 p.m. Central Time. So let's hit that notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload any other content, anime content specifically, just like today's video. And uh, can we get 12 likes on today's video and support for this game? Because this game definitely deserves it. We are in the midst of the beginning of this game so we're gonna open up this relic today I want to know how many what are the chances of pulling a diamond on a premier pack soul sister first one added here so what is she how do I tell if she's a diamond it looks like silver definitely looks like a silver because of what I see around her it doesn't look like any diamond so we get a silver uh, soul sister. Looks like we pull another silver. Yes, so I'm guessing the two souls mean silver, three means gold, and four means diamond, I'm assuming. I guess we'll find out here. If we pull bronze, I would love to see, because if it is one skull, then I know that it is... Yes. Okay, so that is how I know. Okay. Not too shabby. It looks like another bronze. We have 13 of these packs to open. I'm opening up singly so I can get a better understanding of what it looks like. What is that blue? Blue means what? Nothing? Or it just means the type? Alright, bronze. I guess it doesn't really have any special meaning. Get another blue. In Elisa. In denial. Another bronze. Get seven more of these relics to open. This is purple gold. Okay. So there is a little animation here. Red velvet, Elisa. Okay. What is this? Gold, right? So gold. So I was right. So each skull determines what it is. I believe that is my first gold. I have a couple silvers. I don't, why do I need to buy more? Or why is it telling me some promotion? Don't forget this limited time offer. Okay, thank you for letting me know, Skull Girls. So they do have a little ad pop up there. We got one gold in today's video, definitely ending off on a positive note with my first gold, I'm pretty sure, or second. Second gold, I should say. I think it's my second gold. But like, I'm trying to figure out these animations, so now I'm getting a good understanding of what animation is going to be prepared for what type or what level those characters are going to be. We have four more relics. If we can pull at least one more gold, we are looking very, very good. Not even just a little good, we're looking very good because we are looking good. But I definitely want to hit that very, very good. And if you guys are experienced in this game, please let me know what characters I should focus on first, what events I should focus on, as I would definitely love to cover it as this game is still going on, and I'm kind of pretty much getting into it in 2021. So, I am definitely very familiar with Sketchy, as she's kind of one of my bronze mains, for sure. Two relics left. Two relics left. Oh, oh, we are looking very good ending off today's video as Feathered Edges gets added to my collection here. 10 gold characters, so I do. See, I have three, so I was right, that was my second one. And the last one in today's video. Thank you for letting me know yet again. Um, really, really good start to Skull Girls. Something that I'll probably post once, once a week, maybe once every other week. Let me know in the comment section below on that, as there's a lot to do when it comes to content. In general but that's gonna go ahead and end today's video not too bad something quick just to introduce you guys 
as this is something I play here and there. Definitely want to play more, but now that I have the studio, I can actually produce all the content that I actually do play or log into on a regular basis as I kind of wait to film content, but definitely don't miss it. Excuse me, login opportunities. And I'm going to show you all the relics that we actually can get into from a couple months, almost a year's worth of logging in without making really any content covering Skullgirls. I believe I only made one. But there's a lot of relics that I have to open in and on this channel. So please let me know in the comment section below what kind of team you guys want me to build, what types, what types are great, what is the best unit in the game. All that stuff is greatly appreciated. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and favorite, share with a friend or two or three. As always, live free, work hard, and base on. Join me tomorrow for some more Dragon Ball Legends content. I do want to mention why I upload anime content other than Dragon Ball Legends is to get that little brief break from the content that I post, or at least try to post on a daily basis. Bye, guys. For more daily content, subscribe here. If you want to see more of my daily life and behind-the-scenes stuff, subscribe here. If you want to see some other games I play, click here. Also, if you want to check out my main channel for dance videos, topics, and solo adventures, click here. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload new content on all my channels. Bye, guys.